Evenmo. The other $500 tier, Nachos with a Z. Is that it? And then rebelprint.com. Rebelprintin.com. Rebelprintin.com. Let me not fuck that up. Those are the those are the guys that all gave enough money for us to order a trash can full of Indian food and leave it out and not be the cause of the flies. But that can be shoveled with a small true value spade shovel into the sink where it will be pissed down the non garbage disposal sink by Sam at four in the morning. <coughs> Not to be outdone, the thousand dollar tier providing the shrimp, the raw shrimp and seafood provisions that will be thrown atop the Indian food that will be pissed down the sink and kicked down there with a raw, with a bare foot. Icky signal boot. Concrete money, $1,000. We can black this all out. <laughs> Matt Murdock, the blind lawyer. Just love your content. Keep it up. That's awesome. A blind lawyer. He knows what's up. He knows. She's listening to the audio version. He's, we got to get audio versions of this shit. Over to him. He's been waiting for it. Yes. <laughs> He's been sending the $1,000. He's like, hey, guys, what are you spending the money on? And we're like, ah, shrimp for the Indian food. He's like, what? Ah, it's just like. Here's the deal, man. Shrimp's expensive, right? <laughs> Colossal. U9, which is the count, the big count, uh, provisions <laughs> of shrimp. Like U63, U9. U9 is the Colossal, the big guy. Like that Damn. U20. Is it like gauges? Like It is? Yeah. <laughs> like, so, like, if you get out of here with that U, U45 shrimp, what am I, a, a rat bag? Like, mm. you want, like, the lower number. You want the big one. Yeah, you want, like, the mm-hmm. fucking arm. You want a shrimp that looks like this arm. Like, mm-hmm. there you go. Like, ah. Um... But yeah, that's where we're dumping down the sink. No garbage disposal, by the way. I just want to let, get that clear. I had, I just didn't know because it is a. What's the brand? What's the people that make the garbage disposal? It'd be uh, Insincorator. Yeah, Insincorator has the Insincorator logo around the sink. It just doesn't have the insides. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's. that's you why sure? I, yeah, no, I'm sure. It's not under. They it? took out the thing. Oh. Yeah. To get it unclogged. Well, probably to to fuck with me specifically. Well, you should prank. put the fucking don't use the insincorator fucking no. You that's not yeah. your fault. Yeah. As a no 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 yeah. no no. Hey hey, look if I'm pissing down the Indian food with the raw shrimp and scallops on top of it, and shoving it down with my foot and my hands and boxing gloves mm-hmm. at four in the morning. Insincorator says it's I'm not 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 exactly. Insincorator says it's okay. It's it's okay to play. Here I am. You guys are making a fucking fool out of me. It's completely. I don't know what I'm paying. That would be so awesome. You Should have I like talk the, to him? Yeah. When you have the guy in you, like, dude, you're making a fucking. Can I talk to you for a second? You like you pull, you're like, dude, I work here with these guys. I said there was a fucking garbage disposal. You're making a fucking ass out of me, man. Mm-hmm. Like, come on. I should. I should start complaining. I mean, I'm gonna have. To, I think the way to because when they they're not gonna let me have the security deposit back, so I think I have to preempt it by starting to complain now. So by the time I leave, they're so happy to see me leave. Mm. And they know even if you come, you know, when you complain to somebody, even if what you're complaining about is totally cocked, they, there's a small, there's a small part of their psyche that knows that it's their fault because they have their messed up, you know, their, you know, whatever degree of self doubt they have, they're going to say, oh, well, maybe he's right a little bit, but they're not going to think that openly. They're going to say, Hey, you give me your security deposit back. But if I keep hammering it. When it comes time for the fact that I knocked, we knocked down all these walls and put and took the glass down, mm-hmm. and I have no way of putting that back up, mm-hmm. um, and the floor is destroyed, um, mm-hmm. and there's some sort of like bug, deep bug infestation. There's mice running around in the incinerator, and also I've been using the utility, no, there's not. I've been using the utility closet as my changing room for my wet clothes, and there's a sort of a film. A greasy type of film and a stink inside the utility closet, which they're not going to notice. They're not gonna That's now. There. Can we rename that closet? Yeah. Into the automatic suicide closet. <laughs> you should have a shiny 357 revolver and walk 100 people in there. I bet you 62 of them will blow their head off. Yeah. I'd be like, "Is that loaded?" <laughs> they're talking to no one. Is that loaded? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. And we <laughs> should, <laughs> you leave them in there. Um, what are you going to do? They're not going to do anything. No. What? Are they, how are they going to? Here's the reality, though. Yeah. This is a tough rent. Yeah. Going into this economy? Well, a lot of this building's empty anyway. Yeah. They don't so want they, they don't, don't want to leave. They don't want static with me. I'm a local land land legend. They don't they are they know that. <laughs> they sell you. Listen, they, they sell they, you when they sell the building. It's a it's sort of a concierge service where if there's diarrhea on the floor that was scrubbed out with pine saw but it didn't all get out. Yep. 
they that's their burden to bury. It's a little bit of crap, Sam. It's a big building. Big hey. Joey's what's, here. What's a cup of crap to a building this size? To a guy like Joey out front smoking Korean cigarettes. Exactly. And a guy like Sammy parking his his Porsche right out front. Exactly. And, and wailing cigars in <laughs> teachers' face faces. <laughs> they well, they told us to stop smoking in front of the doorway, and Joey said, um, can, uh, he's, as a joke, just out, not to not to them, but he said, um, can you make the hallway stop smelling like the bathroom? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Which it's, it, it is the most open bathroom in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like if I was a homeless guy, I'd be doing a lot of fucking in that <laughs> bathroom. They, yeah. They're in there all the time. Really? Shooting up, shitting. Yeah, yeah. Because if that was if if I was homeless, I would find that bathroom. It's right next to the bus stop. Yeah, that that bathroom, that the toilets might as well be in the fucking hallway. Yeah, <laughs> homeless people, you know, washing their balls out with wet toilet paper and shit like that. <laughs> Smells <laughs> and me and <laughs> Sam. I use the the, the handicap stall. I, that's my private washroom. Mm-hmm. Where if I have an accident or some sort of mishap during the day, a little mishap, a, mishap. a little tummy quake. Yeah, <laughs> whoopsie. My tummy is not. You look at me. You think I'm a strong guy. My tummy. <laughs> tummy. That's your asshole. <laughs> where you realize there was like a quart of shit that just <laughs> yeah. went out. Like. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's easier for me, for my ass health, mm. <laughs> to have that nearby. Well, it's easier to use socks to wipe myself uh-huh. and put them in the hallway in- trash can oh. than it is because the toilet paper is so harsh, Nick. So harsh. It's so And you have to use so much of it. <laughs> well, yeah. I might as well just use a sock. Yeah. The Do so- you put the sock on your hand? This, no, of course not. The socks oh. are plentiful, and you just spit on it. You spit on it first to make sure that it's not going to chafe. And then, I'm gonna fucking ca- I'm gonna eat that camera. <laughs> There's so much shit in the sock, but you just put it in the hallway trash can. It goes right away. Uh, yeah, just right down the drain. <laughs> trash cans are connected to a drain, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that stuff, as soon as you throw it in, it goes to like a big drain system right to the dump, right? <coughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta if you have homeless people in there, you gotta total like you, you literally that's a freebie. Yeah. No one would know it was you. Yeah. The second they see like some guy like some fucking Guy pulling like a bike full of aluminum cans out of that bathroom after like you know, they know who the culprit is. Yeah, they're like, it was him. What are you talking? Me shit on a sock? That's a GT3 RS out there, you fucking retard. That's my point. Hello, that's, that's a beautiful car. You think I would shit on a sock? I used to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I used to. I just don't do it anymore because I'm a fucking grown man. Someone's doing that. Not anybody in my office. Mm-mm. That sounds crazy. I'm actually. If what they, if I was a woman and you said that? If they if they accused me of that, I would think that they're crazy. What if I was? What if you were a woman and they walked into a woman and they were like, yeah. uh, "Hey, Deb, can we talk for a second? Yeah. Are you shitting in a in a sock? I just well, they had cherries on them, and I saw you not coming another time with a set of cherry socks on, and they were covered in shit, and that was the third pair. I was just like. <laughs> Are you shitting on socks and whipping? That's fucking crazy. <laughs> I did. A, oh, yeah. I bought um a bunch of Thorlo hiking socks. Yep. I bought a bunch of nice. I think I figured. You know what? I'm rich. I might as well buy socks accordingly. Mm-hmm. And I found out that the best socks are actually the uh, diabetic socks. Yeah. For, <laughs> for for swollen ankles. For diabetic people with swollen ankles, these are actually the best socks. The, the Those cheap, are nice looking. They are nice. They're also the cheapest ones. The, Get out of here. The expensive Thorlo socks, they weren't good. So there was a time where but they are the best toilet paper. <laughs> so there was a time where I was really enjoying luxury bowel movements and shitting and uh, uh-huh. they're filling that hallway trash can with uh, expensive Thorlo thick premium hiking socks. Hmm. Which I wonder if they ever are we a, aliens? Had a question <laughs> about that. I wonder if anyone ever noticed that and had a question about it. But I couldn't possibly answer it because I'm a upstanding citizen. Well, there would be people that would look into where the shit smell is coming from. I am. Uh, I would imagine might be. I don't know if I'd be curious. I'd probably just be like, just know that that's definitely shit in there. Yeah. Hmm. 